Megumi Fushiguro, a second grade shaman who is the son of Toji Fushiguro. Megumi possesses one of the best, if not the best curse form in all of Jujutsu Kaisen. Megumi has a wide array of Shikigami at his disposal. Megumi's techniques behind these Shikigami allow him to create Shikigami through shadows. This works because the Shikigami use Megumi's shadows as a medium in order to manifest into the physical world. Jade Hounds. These are some of the first Shikigami that we see manifest in Jujutsu Kaisen. The Hounds rip and tear through curses. Megumi also has a good amount of control over these Hounds. The Shikigami do whatever Megumi can think of, which allows them to be very flexible. The Shikigami, as shown in this panel, are able to save people, which really puts into the question whether or not the Shikigami saved these people because they wanted to, or because Megumi wanted them to. As we can see, it seems that the Hounds do have a free will, but they most likely prioritize the will of their master, Megumi Fushiguro. These Hounds can even be used tactically. Through signals and scent, Megumi can find opponents through their scent and even navigate through foreign locations by having a Hound follow the scent of any entrance and exit. Jade Hound Khan is essentially an upgraded version of the previous Jade Hound. If Megumi has a Shikigami that has been destroyed, the remaining technique and power in a destroyed Shikigami will come back and be inherited by another Shikigami. So essentially, if a Shikigami dies, it's dead completely, but its remaining experience will be carried on into the next Shikigami's life. That being said, Jade Hound Khan is significantly stronger than the previous Hounds shown earlier in this video. Khan can hold its own in combat and even watch your back when you're in danger. Jade Hounds are truly man's best friend. Chimera The Chimera is a bird-like Shikigami that can specialize in combat and travel. The Chimera will fly in the way of dangerous attacks and protect its master, which makes for a very good defensive option. The Chimera also serves as a good source of transportation because at a decent size, it can pick you up and fly you to grandma's house. Monster Serpent It's a giant snake who likes to sneak up on people for surprise attacks. It's really useful when it comes to pushing back opponents. Megumi can also use the Monster Serpent for setups. For instance, he can launch and hold an opponent in the air so he can allow another one of his Shikigami to attack. In this example, we have the Chimera performing an aerial attack while the Serpent holds the opponent for a clean hit. Bon Sho. This Shikigami is an elephant. As of now, we have only seen the elephant release water from its trunk. This Shikigami was used in a similar fashion as the Serpent. The water from the elephant set Megumi's opponent up into another attack, and the Chimera Shikigami was used as a follow-up, just like with the Serpent. Megumi has the right idea on how to use his resources at this moment in time, but once he gains more experience, his setups will be unstoppable. Toad. This frog Shikigami can grab things with its tongue and also hold people in its mouth for safety. The Toad also has uses inside of combat. For instance, when attacked, the Toad can stop an incoming projectile from harming Megumi. The Toad Shikigami is also capable of holding opponents down, being used as bait, and if Megumi combines Shikigami, for example, Megumi combines the Toad and Chimera, which allows him to use a technique called Bottomless Well. With this technique, Megumi can have Toads carry him off into the air so he can fly away to flee from combat. Speaking of fleeing from combat, Megumi has a Shikigami used specifically for that. Rabbit Escape. Rabbit Escape is where Megumi uses a lot of rabbits as a distraction in a smoke bomb-esque fashion. This seems like a surefire way to get out of any situation. Megumi has a lot of potential. In the beginning of the video, I said Megumi possessed the best, if not the best curse form in all of Jujutsu Kaisen. This is because Megumi's technique 
is fast and can be used in many situations. If Megumi uses his mind, gains some experience, and works on his confidence, he could be one of the strongest characters in Jujutsu Kaisen. Sukuna calls Megumi a waste of talent, and this is because Megumi did not possess enough confidence to face off against a cursed wound spirit. From the beginning, Sukunda knew that Megumi was strong enough to fight a cursed wound spirit on his own, which he does all while fixing his confidence in the process. I won't say much about that for the sake of spoilers, but for those of you who know what's missing from this video, check out the rest of the Jujutsu Kaisen content on this channel if you're interested. But at that, Megumi literally has one of the best abilities in this manga. Okay, with all of the shadows, he can use them anywhere at any time. He can use 10 of them at once. The only thing that is stopping Megumi is himself. But once he starts being more creative with his power, once he starts working around situations with his power more, then, like I said earlier, once he gains more experience, Megumi will begin to know when and where he should use a Shikigami in any given situation. Now imagine him using these techniques at a much faster speed. You will literally be shut down by Megumi. He will literally be untouchable. He could just summon a bird and have the wolves attack you. And don't forget, Megumi can use 10 of these at one time. He can use them as bait. He can use them to set you up and he can use them as a shield. And then he can also carry off all their experience into other Shikigami. How are you beating this guy? Once he masters his techniques, how are you beating him?